neither kings nor queens nor royal marines the 28th on Friday Hey anyway, guys and girls, I've uh, just thought I'd bring you this video on something I've uh, done recently um, I've recently purchased a couple of these um, nets for uh, catching crayfish in the UK and uh, I went out the other day with a mate of mine who's got permission and uh, we caught a few in it a few and to be honest they were quite tasty in, you know and uh, in with sort of being interested with uh, sort of living off the land and being able to live off the land I thought I'd buy myself a couple so um, what I've done is I actually got it from these people just uh, here we go. Sorry about the camera work. There you go. And uh, there's a couple of things you have to do to the nets. They come in this sort of form. And uh, let me just. These two uh, little red catches. There and there. Spring them open. And the net becomes. I wouldn't say massive, but. Uh, a fair size, sorry about the camera work. So it uh, springs out from nothing to about 21 inches. And then what you've got is you've got a little zip in the top that opens up and you put your bait in there so it's a little net within a net. And then to get your catch out You've got a whacking great zip, the full length of it at the top here, so you can actually get your hand in and uh, catch them out. Now, to make them legal in the UK, because you need permission for just about everything in the UK, what you have to do is you have to close this net, the entrance, up. Uh, let me just double check this uh, to 95 millimeters, so it can't be any bigger. Now, to do that. What they supply you with is a good old zip tie, because zip ties every, hold everything together. And rather than watch it, because it really is fiddly, what I've done is, I've done one here, and you, hopefully you can see that in there. And I'll just squash that down. And lock it up. So you can see they're quite... Uh, small once they're uh, tidied up but as you can see that's set for I've actually taken it down to 90 mil and the reason behind this is so that uh, you don't cra uh, trap any otters in there and they don't drown and stuff like that so hopefully you can see that yeah and then with this bit here what I'm going to do is clip that off yeah, so that uh, an otter, or likewise, can't get its head trapped in there and drowned, which uh, I wouldn't want to do anyway. So yeah, um, but like everything within the UK, you have to have permission and from the environmental agency, so you'll have to fill out one of these. I'll put the link in for this, it's only one page, a bit of gumph on the back of the rights and wrongs of everything, and uh, what you've got to measure, but you've got to provide information on the... Uh, where you go in, who's given you permission, name and address, grid reference, and the size of your pot. You can probably just see that there. So uh, what I'm going to do is next time I'm away, these will be going with me. Once I've set them uh, both nets up, I've bought two. They're not a great deal of money, but uh, I'm not promoting anybody, so have a look on the internet. They're easy to get hold of. But uh, yeah, it's hopefully something that's going to keep me fed and water. Well, not water, but keep me fed. And um, I look forward to sharing that video with you when I get out there and do it. But uh, hope you enjoy the little video and I'll be back soon. Cheers.